Today I'm going to show you how to filter your data in Power BI. By filtering, in this case I mean filtering the data source. So there is also option to filter your data when you create your report. Basically you can add slicers and then you will be able to filter your data. But I'm not talking about that, I'm talking about filtering data in your data source. And why is that so useful and why we need that in the first place? So, for example, I'm gonna go to sales data and basically we will be able to see this data preview. Now let's say that we need only specific data in this table. Currently, if I click for example in this order date column, I will be able to see different dates. Let's say that we need only data for January. Now if you would like to filter that by month, first I'm gonna create month column. Let's go to add a column, date, month, name of month. Now if I go here, I can see this month name column. Let's click on this option here, load more. And basically these are months that we have in this data source. Now let's say that for our report purposes we need only January. I can select only that value and everything else it will be excluded. So in this case we will only be loading data for January and if I click on home, close and apply, basically that table will be filtered and we will be able to see only data for January. What does that exactly mean? Let's add table visualization here. And let's check sales, for example. And let's check, for example, order quantity. This is total order quantity. And let's check by month. So let's provide month name. And as you can see, this is total quantity of products sold for January only. Now, if I go back to Power Query Editor, sales data, Let's click on this here, load more. So let's include February and March. Let's click on OK, close and apply. We will need to refresh our data and basically everything is loaded properly and we have now data for January, February and March. So that's the way how you can filter your data and to exclude it in your report if not needed. Let me show you some other examples. For example, we can exclude some specific regions. For example, we can exclude North America. So just click on Europe and Pacific and we will be able to see only those values in our data source. And those values will be imported into Power BI report itself and we will be able to see only these values. But I'm gonna remove this step. I'm gonna go also to sales data and I'm gonna remove those steps that I have created previously. Let's click on close and apply. And then let's remove this table. Great, with this I'm gonna conclude this video. Thank you for watching.